Welcome to Donald's English Corner Podcast. This podcast is dedicated to helping people express themselves in English in a relaxed and fun environment. Together, we will learn more about what the language has to offer by expanding your vocabulary, strengthening your grammar, and sometimes investigating American culture. Welcome to Episode 8, The Influential E. Part 1. E and its friends. There are 26 letters in the English alphabet. 20 of them are consonants. This is B, C, D, F, G, etc. And five of those letters are vowels. A, E, I, O, and U. Oh, I should point out here that there can be six vowels. In elementary school, we learned that the vowels were A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. Y, the letter Y, can act like a vowel depending on the word. But we'll learn more about the letter Y during another episode. In this episode, we're going to focus on the letter E. The letter E appears in more words than any other, either consonant or vowel. This vowel appears so reliably that a hugely popular word game had to change its rules. Part 2. Wheel of Fortune Are you familiar with a game show called Wheel of Fortune? In this game, people try to figure out a hidden word, phrase, or combination of both. The game is a mixture of a popular children's game called Hangman and the roulette wheel used in gambling. This show first hit the American airwaves in 1975 and remains incredibly popular today in 2024. According to the Wheel of Fortune wiki page, which I had no idea existed until doing research for this podcast episode, the game show appears in 20 different countries. The contestant who wins the most money in the main part of the show proceeds to the final puzzle. And in the final puzzle, the contestant has an opportunity to win major prizes like cars or vacations or money. I think 50000 is the most common. The contestant has to choose five consonants and one vowel. Based on the results of their guest letters, they have to figure out the puzzle. You might be wondering what this has to do with the letter E. Well, as I said earlier, the letter E is the most commonly used letter in the English language. And so, the letter E almost always appeared in Wheel of Fortune's final puzzle. Players were choosing the letter E so often that it became predictable almost an unspoken rule. People had to choose E. And this was bad. It was bad for the show. If you're a game show, the last thing you want is predictability. Predictability was a synonym for boring. The people watching the show at home knew that the contestant would choose the letter E as the vowel. Now, a few years ago, the show producers changed the rules of the game. Now, the letter E is given to the contestant by default. There's an expression in English, if you can't beat them, join them. The show decided not to fight the popularity of the letter E. Instead, it gave the letter to the contestant right at the beginning. The players are now asked to choose an additional vowel. On a personal note, let me share that I don't like Wheel of Fortune. My husband is the opposite. He especially likes the final puzzle, both to try guessing the answer and to see the prize that the contestant won or didn't win. (laughs) 
Okay, back to the letter E. We learned in the introduction that the letter E was both common and popular. In the next part, we're going to talk about how this letter is also powerful. I use the word powerful, though I could also use the word influential. The letter E influences the pronunciation of other vowels. This influence depends on where it is in relation to its neighbors. Let's look at some examples of how E can make its sibling vowels change their sound. Part 3. Vowel, consonant, E. For example, let's look at the words C, A, R, F, A, R, and S, T, A, R. Okay, take a moment to say those words out loud. What do they sound like? What does the letter A sound like? So it's car, bar, and star. And as you can hear, the sound of the letter A is short. I'll say them again. Car, bar, and star. Now, what do you think will happen when we add an E to the end of each word? Take a moment to say these new words. C A R E. F A R E and S T A R E. Well, we now have care, fair, and stare. The A in these new words is long. So the presence of E at the end of the words forced the change in A's sound. But here's the really interesting fact, or the annoying fact for many English language learners. The letter E itself is silent. We do not pronounce it. Here are a few more examples of the letter E changing the sound of the vowel before another consonant. D U D, dud, versus D U D E, dude. Math, M A T H, versus mate, M A T E. Statistic, S T A T I S T I C, versus State, S-T-A-T-E. This pattern is vowel, consonant, E. Now let's move on to part four. Part four, Big Brother E. The letter E often appears next to the vowels A, I, and also itself. Many times the E forces the sound of the other vowel to change. Let's look at some examples. The words steal, S T E A L, and steal, S T E E L, sound identical. The double vowel forces us to say a long E. Now, the verb to steal means to rob or to take property that doesn't belong to you. While steal is a noun and is a metal used in construction. Here are a few more examples of a double vowel with E. Ear, E-A-R. Fear, F-E-A-R, gear, G-E-A-R, deer, D-E-A-R, rear, R-E-A-R, peer, 
P-I-E-R, and LEAP, L-E-A-P. Okay, let's move on to part five, the double E. Words that contain a double E are always pronounced with a long sound. So we can say that these are the easiest words to pronounce. Let's look at a few examples. Steep, S-T-E-E-P. Peel, P-E-E-L. Freeze, F-R-E-E-Z-E. And sneeze. S-N-E-E-Z-E. -E -E. Okay, let's go to part six. Part six, these are the exceptions to the rules. English is a, well, it's a crazy language. All of the examples I gave above are rules of thumb. And a rule of thumb is a general suggestion. These are rules that are usually true, but not always. And many people learning English have struggled with these pronunciation exceptions. And in my time as a teacher, I have found that native speakers of Spanish, Ukrainian, German, and many others think that the pronunciation is the most difficult part of the English language. And you know what? I sympathize completely. Having said that, let's look at some exceptions to the influential E. Here are some words that contain the double vowel, but the E does not affect the pronunciation of the other vowel. I'll spell them out loud first, and then take a moment to think of how to pronounce them. Okay, you ready? P E A R. Pear. G R E A T. Great. D E A T H. Death. S T E. A D Y. Steady. Congratulations! You have made it to the end of the eighth episode of Donald's English Corner podcast, The Influential E. Please check out my website at donaldinchicago.com or any of my social media sites if you'd like to learn more about the English language and American culture. Thank you, everybody. And see you next time in episode nine.